What's up, people? This is uh, Fuzin Kooten here, and I have a special guest in the studio. Hello. Yes, it is Derpy Hooves from My Little Pony. It just don't know what went wrong. Oh, by the way, yes. Um, <clears throat> warning, this video will contain strong language and possibly racial slurs. Your discretion is strongly advised. Seriously, if you're easily offended by racist statements, you might want to click away now. Or cursing of any kind, you might want to avoid that too. Um, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we should do the first cuss word of the episode. If I'm right, we're on chapter one, Rebirth, episode one. Oh yeah, by the way, ask motherfucker, ask tits, come cock, let's get this shit started. Cool. Uh, jeez. What have we gotten ourselves into? A buttload of shit. Yeah. I wonder if this makes me schizophrenic. Now, now, Mr. Kimakuden, if I'm not mistaken, weren't you? La didn't you last leave off at a house where you were looking for your sandwich? Yes. And there was an issue with said sandwich. I found it in the front seat, so all my screaming and yelling and running around like an idiot. Same as it always was, isn't it? Oh, wait, what's up the mind just keeps sending you back again. It's interesting how you Here's can find comfort dialogue. in any familiar situation. Even a familiar nightmare. Jeez. Wake up. It's I don't want to go to... Begin. What, going to high school? High school sucked. Yeah, high school sucks. Unless you're a jock or a freaking whore that sucks dick in the bathroom. <laughs> Which was pretty much everyone I knew. Ugh, my head. What was in that sandwich? Ugh. Damn, that was one for everything. Yeah. Dude, I think that mayo was bad. Are you sure I think it was just the mayo? Probably the meat, too. It was all stuck inside of the freaking sandwich. Chapter 1, Rebirth. Yeah. Personally, I can't distinguish between reality right now and what's fake. Bitch! <laughs> Motherfucker. Security alert. Area under lockdown. Please remain calm and wait for further assistance. Hey, buddy, can you spring me? Chop off. chop off your testicles. Sorry, honey, that happened in the War of 44. Stop beeping. It's annoying. Damn. Who threw a party in here? Uh, do you think it involved uh, Drew Pickles by any chance? Well, judging by this mess, could be anybody. Yeah, but there's a distinct lack of white cum. Yeah, that's what kind of makes me second guess situation because Drew Pickles never leaves a party without turning, you know, the brown balls white or whatever color wallpaper you have. It wouldn't matter because, like I said, it's. Oh, it's like a, a nice ivory by the time you leave. <clears throat> okay. Um, this switch is sparking. You think I should flip it? Oh, it's homosexual. Turn on, sweetheart. Oh. Lockdown removed. Something we should mention, he is bisexual, so he's allowed to do that. Yes. Bag, Hello. bag, 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 bag. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Look, if you want to get out of here, then do exactly as I say. I don't I want to get out of here. I know you have a lot of questions, but here. for now it's absolutely vital that oh, you get here as quickly as you can. Caucus First, we're going to need to get you yeah, armed. This is... Head to the cafeteria, then to the kitchen. You'll find oh, a surprise God. waiting for you there. Don't care you don't if Romney is running behind Santora. I don't care about the U.S. presidency. The United States failed me. Well, then apparently, according to social standard, you're an unpatriotic bastard. And according to the Patriot Act, I can be arrested. Yep. Hey, that was a, that's what I was called throughout my entire course in high school. Oh, my high school life. I was quite the rebellious, controversial prick. Yeah, just like with your uh, aunt buddy Cracker, but that was back in her college years mostly. That picture with the Pope and, uh, well, you know. Security whoa, alert. Whoa, whoa, that guy's gone. Patient leaving cell block without escort. Security and medical staff proceed to the cell detention area immediately. Um, I just got bitch slapped. 
Yeah, you said that happens sometimes. It does. Ooh, this guy's taking a crap. Oh my. This was more noble than the first dump from the first episode, from the Zero episode. This guy dumped so powerful, all of his organs splat out on the ground out to there, and then he lifted off into the next plane of evolution, leaving only his boots. A true end hero. Yes. That's how you evolve, kids. On the toilet. And here's more of his guts. Wow. And that's what makes me proud to be an American. Yes, I can somewhat see the pride in America again. Open up. No, I want pudding. pudding. Oh, come on. Now this episode's gonna be about pudding? Nah, I just wanna say something like that. Really, I'm actually on the hunt for someone now. I'm after Chef Excellence. Uh, yeah, he, he... For those of you that don't watch Ashens, um... He sells really, really, really crappy bags to people that are meant for bread, meat, cheese, all that good shit. And yeah, they're just shitty little plastic, thi thin little plastic bags. Oh, there he is. It looks like the pressure of all of his failure and the drinking have finally caught up to him. Rest in pieces. Is that French bread? Where? Is that French bread or something he's holding? No, it's oh. Max. Oh, look, at, look at that. Rest in peace, noble chef excellence. I would dump gin on you, but I don't want to waste any of mine. <gasps> chef excellence is attacking me! Ah! Your bag sucked! You suck! You suck! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! Are you teabagging him? No, I was making him give me a blowjob. Ooh, even better. Well, so much for lunch. Yeah, so much for pudding. Well, you did have your sandwich in the last episode, so you should be good. Yeah, I think I may have—I think I may have diarrhea from that. But anyway. Yay! I think we all know that classic song. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Ah! Fuck. <gasps> It's the opening, the main menu shot. Still a, still a better uh, love story than Twilight, I must say. Mm. Oh, damn it! No. GOP debate. Shut up. I see you found my axe. Yes. God knows how I found I its way out here. Care. You should what consider it a blessing. You have no idea how much you're going to need. Better. Things have gotten pretty ugly here. I wish we could continue this you pleasant conversation, this but you better keep uh, moving. I'm gonna lock the doors for you. Okay. Okay, go on. Now, as I was saying, to now take a look at this radio. Do you know what I absolutely love about the physics in this game? That you're beating the hell out of this thing with an axe, yet it has bullet holes. Yes, my axe is so powerful, it's a gun. It just meant, That's how it's it's just meant to look like an axe. I mean, we, we should be teaching that, like, in science classes, that to whack something is to create a bullet hole. Yes. As it always is a bullet hole. Danger. I'm authorized because I have an axe. Everything's authorized whenever you have a weapon. Yeah. Ooh, look, and this game just quickly turned into the... Half-Life. I was gonna say Tomb Raider 3, like during the Area 51 level, but it works. I think that's better, but anyway. This is the only real puzzle in the game, and it's probably the dumbest. The rest of the puzzles are really... All the puzzles, except for the one in Episode 0, are easy to figure out. Oh my, these are very... They hired some shitty contractors. Oh my. How much you want to bet I'm going to fall through the vents here? About 20% of the time. Social Security. Yes, everyone. He steals from the government, according to a Sviconia member. Yay! Oh. See, this I just got 20% more in my government entitlement. An inspection Thanks, is required to proceed past this area. Please remain calm and await the nearby security staff. This is a standard procedure. Yay, buddy, I missed you. Da, 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 da. He 
he's done his way up that pole. I don't think he's going to be able to do his way out of this one. That's concrete, technically. No deterrent for my buddy. Yay. Okay. Now where to throw him? I have a job for him. Ooh, Dig your way out of this office and become the new security officer. His lifelong dream come true. Now the shovel has a job, which is more than I can say for myself. Not the shitty channel. Yeah, there's no ponies on. Oh. Ooh. Oh my. Perhaps Did I just see Lewis' his personalities? Yeah, about three of them. Good luck, Shovely. And oh yeah, your coffee's fresh. Or I think it's burnt, I don't know. No, I pissed in it. Excellent. That's how I welcome the new guys. I thought you said you didn't have a job. What's with your contradictions? I'm Baka Survivor today. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, this door looks fucked. Security room. Ah, oh, this door isn't gonna shut. Okay. Yeah. It hates. Oh, yeah. This- what does this piece of art say to you? In case of emergency, break glass. You think I should? Say, then what do we do in cases like this? <laughs> what shall we do? <laughs> Eat caviar and break the glass. <laughs> Smashing job washing. <laughs> <laughs> we have a gun. This is probably going to end badly for somebody. <gasps> Ponies? Uh, Are you picking it's this GOP up? GOP again. Good. First. Allow me to introduce myself. Wow, Donald Trump's My name really is Dr. Romero, and like you, uh, okay. I'm stuck in this hellhole. There's been complications, and as a result, we're cut off. Oh, lovely. It's just you and I here, all alone, in Fuck a manner of speaking. You. Put Fluttershy Good back news on. Is, I've heard that they're sending. I like both of God damn it, I'm losing you. Yes, put on ponies. Look, I'll explain everything when you get to me. I'm unlocking the elevator doors for you. Just keep it vain. Okay, is that- Ooh, no. Who is it? I is it a Girl it Scout? Is it a Girl Scout? Or is it the bitch? Um, oh my. Oh my. She isn't simply done. She's beautiful. I could totally do make this bitch and Daz even better than this. Perhaps you should, and I'll cut it. Nah, that would take too long. Nah. So, um, what type of Girl Scout cookies you want? Um, I like the ones with the raspberry jelly in the center, if not the one with the lemons, but if I can't even get that, I like the round ones that have, like, that coconut. Oh, I do too. Those things are amazing. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, okay. In fact, my cousin used to work, uh, not work, uh, she used to be a Girl Scout, and, you know, we just got major discounts on major ass packs of, like, you know, cookies, and it's like... Okay, you think I should just give her my money now and then just get it later? And get it when I come back around? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not hungry now, so... There you go. Uh, we can have them later, because this place gets boring. She took my money! Well, what can you expect? Uh, she... What would Betty Cracker say about this situation? Atta girl, that's how you get through elementary school when your parents kick you out in the street. We're so nice. Yay! End of chapter one. Oh yes, it is. Let's wait until the end of the loading point. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, this is Fuzin Kimakun. And this is RCD Chain. Wishing you all a swell, poopy, cummy, orgy day. And keep your butt buddies close and keep your dildos closer. Niggers. Have a oh. good one.